Hey guys, so this will be the first video of a few to uh, document installing a mound tune radiator. Uh, I don't have the radiator delivered yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and start removing parts over the next day or so to get it ready. First thing we're gonna do is um, we take the air box out. So we're gonna also disconnect the BAP line here, the guy on the intake manifold and one down here on the, uh, the cold side charge pipe. Uh, we're gonna disconnect those first just because it's up top. We've already disconnected the negative battery terminal. Um, once we have the air box out, we're gonna go ahead then and uh, pop the lower radiator line, start draining it, but we're gonna make sure everything's nice and cooled off. And then we're gonna disconnect the electrical harnesses off the fan shroud. So the first thing that's gonna come out is the fan shroud. So we're gonna get everything disconnected so we can clear that out. Also gonna move this line back uh, so we have a little more room. I'm hoping with the vehicle up on ramps, we've got about 17 inches of clearance and I'm hoping that's gonna be enough. The radiator uh, was about 18, 19 inches tall. So I'm hoping that's gonna be enough to slide out from the bottom. Because if you look, I don't think we're gonna be able to get it out from the top with the uh, AC lines there. I think it's gonna get in the way. So. Fan trout's supposed to come out through the top, and then I think that'll give us enough room to get the radiator out through the bottom. It's gonna be quite a process, but here in AZ, I uh, definitely need the increased efficiency of the radiator, because this thing, it's already starting to get pretty hot, and we haven't even hit 110 degree weather yet, so. So we're gonna go ahead and do is start pulling some of these pieces off, and uh, we'll just update step by step as we go through it. Okay, so we have the air box out. Uh, EVAP lines disconnected, just put a little bag over the upper ones. Probably try to find some little guy down here. So, got all those out. Um, next step is to, everything cools down. Um, actually, next step is to pop off these electrical connections down here. And I'm going to have to remove the clips that are holding the wire harness onto the fan shrouds. So there's one here, two third one here that's it so those guys all have to be popped off pop the main connection here so we'll get that out of the way and then we'll start draining the, the coolant um, yeah so again this tree clip I think it's a tree clip this guy there's one up here so there's three in total in the main electrical connector okay now that we have the electrical harness is connected and all those uh, tree clips out. I ended up just uh, popping some out and then just cutting them off the cable and then I'll, I'll try to remove them from here because some of these tabs on the fan shroud, this one right here especially, they're not very strong. And uh, to save one of those little clips, I think you can get them in AutoZone. Um, at risk of breaking the plastic off your fan, it's definitely not worth it. So. Got the cable harness freed up. Um, once we pop the upper radiator line, we'll be able to swing this guy over to the side to give us more room. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and start draining the, uh, the coolant out. You can see right here is where we're gonna pop the line. Um, I don't believe this radiator actually has a, uh, um, a coolant drain plug, so Gotta pop the radiator line. It's still, it's not too warm. We may give it a couple more minutes and we're gonna pop this guy off, hair pliers, and let her drain out. And uh, then move on to taking the uh, cold side pipe out. And um, yeah, we'll take the uh, fan shroud out. Well, once you have your coolant draining, or mostly drained out, and uh, you're gonna want a bigger pan than I had. Because <laughs> as you can see from the wet ground, it kind of wants to go everywhere, so anyhow, um, you're going to go ahead and pop the top hose off. I tucked the electrical harness into this corner and tucking it up in here as much as I can. Kind of tucking the um, hood release and out of the way as well. Um, and then this, these clips right here, you lift these up. It allows you to slide the whole fan shroud assembly forward. 
So, just have to keep the radiator hose out of the way. And we should be able to pull this fan shroud right up and out. Uh, one item that I forgot before getting the fan shroud out is you've got to pop these little clips out of the way and release the uh, release the um, the post on the top of the radiator assembly. Got these little rubber washers in here that kind of hold it all together. Let's see, it holds it in place. This should give you a little more um, freedom to go ahead and. Uh, you gotta get this um, air conditioning line I pushed back a little bit to get the radiator, or sorry, the fan shroud out. It may actually end up being easier to take it out from the bottom, we'll see. I'll give it a go from the top, uh, like the instructions say, but it may be easier to get it out from the bottom. So yeah, get those tabs off. And hopefully, yeah, see, that allows us some motion there, so now we can probably get that fan shroud out. Okay, so moving, removing the fan, fan shroud from the top is, uh, I wouldn't say it's a non-starter, but it, it's definitely more difficult than it's worth. So um, the next phase of the instructions for the mountain tune is to go ahead and remove the cold side pipe. I'm going to do that. I think it's going to come out from the bottom a lot easier. Um, it just wants to bind up right against, like you can see where it's been rubbing right in here, um, this little... This little uh, plastic shoulders wants to keep binding up in here. And you just gotta fight it way more than it's worth. Actually, you can see I'm probably, looks like I may have scored the radiator up in the process, so. Looks like I'm definitely going with a new radiator. Okay, so I was able to get the radiator fan shroud out from the top. Just gotta fight with it a little bit, and it will come out. Jeez, oh, that's stuck in there. Um, it's quite a project. Um, to free up the radiator. Once you take these clips out, which you need to do earlier, you gotta tilt the whole assembly forward. And then you gotta get up under here, pull the radiator out of this mounting post. Uh, you can see that side's completely off. This side's coming out. Once you get this guy off, there should be some tabs. I can kind of see right here. Um, there's a tab right there. There's tabs that hold the AC condenser on. So we're gonna go ahead, pull it out a little more, pop those tabs and see what we get. All right, so we have the tabs right here. It's a little clip kind of like up top. You pull the plastic back and release it from the AC condenser. Got it on both sides. Kind of got it perched here. I'm gonna go up around top and you're gonna have to pull the radiator up. Oh, we're up up um, above the condenser a little to release the top clip. Okay, with the condenser free, you can lower the radiator down. Watch out for this condenser. Um, fins seem a little more durable than the radiator, but barely. Um, you got some clearance fun with the AC lines there, but you can get it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get under the car, tilt the radiator, get it out, and we're done for now. So that's it, radiator's out. You can see I didn't do it any favors right here when I was trying to get that fan shroud out. Um, don't forget to release these top posts. I think I, I wouldn't have done nearly that damage if I had those posts. You can see I barely, barely really nicked it up here, but that side's from the, that post being in and trying to get past uh, the AC stuff. So um, I guess the only thing I'm concerned about when I'm putting the new radiator in is getting that fan shroud in without damaging anything. Maybe possible to put it all in back in as one piece. That'd be awfully nice, that's for sure. But um, I guess the only other thing I'm, I think is gonna be a challenge is getting that throttle body coupler back on. I may even just drain the oil and take the oil filter off to give myself even more room getting this thing back together. Um, but yeah, so it was a pain in the ass, but we got it. Um, so I guess we're waiting until the parts come in. Um, you gotta take the uh, rubber washers off of this guy, put those, transfer them on. Um, you can take the bleed valve off. I've got another one coming, so I mean, I bother trying to get that one off. And you take the rubber feet off and you're all done. This radiator's probably still usable. I mean, these are just some bent fins. It's not the end of the world, but yeah. You can see how tiny this thing is. I wonder it gets so hot. I mean, this thing just doesn't have 
whole lot of uh, whole lot of thickness or size to it. So yeah, no wonder it's getting hot here in Arizona. So hopefully this uh, part one helps to figure out how to get these things out without taking crash bar off and everything else. We'll see if I can continue down that path. Um, not sure getting the mounting one in because I don't want to mess it up. So we'll see how it goes.